uh, what I'd be happy to do is show you uh, the, the Columbus okay. Idea Foundry. Okay. Uh, we just moved in about two months ago, so we're still getting settled in. We were doing this for about six years at another location, and this is the lobby area. Of course, it's still a little bit rough uh, where folks come in. We have three meetups here. We have a 3D printing meetup that we've had uh, every month for five years. And that actually won us a national, international award on uh, the, the most people who come do 3D printing out of any city in the world. 300 competed from New York to San Francisco, Singapore to London, and, and we came in first. Uh, no one was more surprised than we were <laughs> when that happened. That awesome. Really, really fun. And when they first approached us, they said, guys, I love the mission, but it's not at all what we do. Uh, until I realized they're getting people who are doing things that are hands-on, participatory, um, creative, and problem solving. Okay. And that is what we do if That's you just right. add tools That's to that. Right. So, got the laser cutter and the 3D printer here. Laser cutter can cut wood and plastic, mark metal, etch glass. 3D printer can make lots of shapes out of 3D. And the brand that we bought is from a company called IC3D. And where I'm especially proud, IC3D was formed by two guys who met here at the Columbus Idea Foundry. So they now uh, spun this tech startup out. When we bought our machine, they built the logo of the shop into the brackets. You can see the Columbus Idea Foundry logo right there. Nice. Really fun. Nice. We have a little table of things we've been making. Just started putting this together. So for example, laser cut acrylic skull or a larger CNC machined foam skull here. We 3D printed our Yoda head here and then made a silicone rubber mold for it that we pour, uh, poured polyurethane foam into. So you can make copies much faster from a 3D printed part. Teach a class on how to weld up a metal desk lamp. Day one, you weld the lamp. Day two, you do the electronics for these rotating RGB LEDs. Day three, you 3D print your own knobs. So it's a little bit of uh, uh, classic conventional machining. Uh, this is one of mine. This is a mashup of art and tech. So it's a touch sensitive LCD wireless internet portal that's playing through an old Edison phonograph horn. So, and it has that kind of tinning sound to it yes, too. Yes, yes. Uh, um, got the welding shop back here. So still had to hang the screens, but we teach a class in one afternoon. You learn how to cut metal, plasma torch through it, fixture it, and weld it. You go home with your own hibachi barbecue grill. Uh, one of our uh, welding instructors, Allison Mead, is doing this Native American sculpture. Uh, she's also a firefighter and teaches an all women's welding class, which is very popular. How many, how many people are, are entrepreneurs or yeah. members do you have coming through here at a time? So we have about 180 members, and uh, membership is $35 a month. And about a third of those folks self-identify as small business people. Okay. Now, most of those people still have a day job, uh, but they come here evenings and weekends to test out another product, a service, dip their toe in another industry to see if they're interested in doing it. And right now we're doing actually, uh, we have a, the board of directors for the American Ceramic Society is having their annual meeting here. Uh, and that includes the president of Battelle, a uh, giant nonprofit R&D organization here, the dean of engineering for OSU, uh, our computer controlled mill can cut wood, plastic, plaster, foam, and metal. And we can do these very design heavy shapes uh, when the machine does your heavy lifting. Gary is machining the CIF logo out of plaster so we can pour pewter into that, make our own metal parts from a computer design. Really fun. How much do you do for OSU? Um, we're looking to do more. Right now, we don't do very much. But they recently reached out and they've explained that they want to start, obviously this is the wood shop, yes. they want to start a makers club at OSU for their students to come out and, uh, and do this kind of fun stuff. Nice.